Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you how to use Frugelli Auto's Linear Actuator Calculator. This calculator is designed to help you size an appropriate linear actuator for applications that require you to rotate a load about a hinge, like a hatch. To start, you'll first want to input your dimensions of your application, starting with the box width. A box width is how wide the space underneath your hatch is. Typically, this is also the width of your lid itself, but in some applications, like opening a hatch to a cellar door, you may have more space than the width of the lid. Next is the box height. This is how deep the space underneath your hatch is. This value is particularly important when you have limited space underneath the hatch, like with a tunnel cover on a pickup truck. In situations where there are lots of space underneath the lid, like a trap door to a cellar, the box height is less important. As you can see, the diagram will update to give you a scaled image of your application. The lid weight is how heavy the lid you are trying to open is, or the size of the load you're trying to lift. The maximum angle is how open you want your lid to be, and ranges from 0 degrees, which is closed, to 90 degrees. The lid mount position is the position where your linear actuator will be attached to the lid and is given in terms of inches away from the hinge. This value ranges from zero inches to the box width or the end of the hatch. As you can see, the orange dot on the diagram is the lid mount position when the hatch is open and the yellow dot is the lid mount position when the hatch is closed. If you are flexible in where the linear actuator is mounted to the lid, you can play around with this value to find results that best suit your application. Once you've inputted your application into the calculator, you then pick a linear actuator to test out. First, you will start by selecting an actuator type based on your desired features and style of actuator. Then you'll choose a stroke length. You can also choose whether you want to use one or two actuators in your design. The calculator will default to recommending using two actuators one mounted on either side of the hatch, as you should never push a hatch open from just one side. You can, however, use one actuator to push from the center of the hatch. Once you have picked an actuator, you will see two arcs extending around the orange and yellow dots. These arcs represent the length of the actuator when fully extended and fully retracted, respectively. If these two arcs do not intersect, there is no mounting position that is feasible for your application with your chosen actuator, and you must adjust your inputs. Once they do intersect, then there is a feasible mounting position, and the diagram will then display an image of the actuator in that position. You can also select the show alternate mounting positions to see if there is more than one feasible mounting position. Once you have found a feasible mounting position, you can check out the results. The results will display the mounting position as an XY coordinate. The X coordinate is the horizontal distance from the hinge, and the Y coordinate is the vertical distance from the hinge. The minimum force required from each actuator will also be displayed, but this is not necessarily the force from the selected linear actuator. If the required force is greater than the maximum force from your selected actuator, a red arrow text will be displayed in the results window and you will need to adjust your inputs again. Once you've found a feasible result, a recommended product window will appear showcasing the actuator you have selected and that works with your application. This window will provide you a quick link to its product page. And that is how you use our linear actuator calculator. You can check out this calculator and much more at forgelliauto.com.